Good evening. The 2021 EDGA Match Play Tournament resumed on Friday morning with second round matches. To Lawrence Park Golf Club we go. Players and spectators dealing with light rain and blustery conditions. Over on the par 5 15th, multiple match play champion Ron Coleman taking on Tyler Kozad. Coleman rolling in the birdie putt and he kept that putter hot down the stretch. Jump to the 17th. Coleman with a chance to win the match by making another birdie and he does just that. Coleman advancing to the quarterfinals with a two and one victory. Ryan Ferry facing Isaiah Swan. Ferry with a great read and nearly converts on this birdie try. He defeated Swan two up. Another great battle featured Drew Dimel versus Carter Hassenplug. Dimel making the par save on the 16th. That would win the hole for him. Over to the 17th now, Hassenplug from short yardage with a solid pitch shot, knocks this to within a few feet of the cup. He would miss birdie with a chance to extend the match, so Dimel needs to make this par save, and he does so. Dimel advancing two and one. More great golf taking place this morning, staying on the 17th. Two-time runner-up of the tournament, Matt Bardo, lagging this birdie opportunity beautifully. Reads the pace and the break nicely. Doesn't make it, but he makes par, and he eventually defeated Ted Grassy two and one. Other winners in the second round included Alex Weir over TJ Mitchell two and one. Dave Spitzer eliminated Mike Wolf six and five to reach the quarterfinals. In a match featured Gannon teammates, Abe Holmes defeated Mark Majeski five and four, while John Marriott completed the all Gannon side of the draw by advancing two and one. So highlights now from the quarterfinal matches. Alex Weir facing Ron Coleman on the par 4 fourth. Weir has this scary chip shot from a bad stance, downhill and everything. Able to show off his touch, he would save par and eventually win the match in 20 holes. Ryan Ferry taking on Dave Spitzer after a brilliant second shot that hits the pin on four. Ferry just misses the birdie chance. He would tap in for par and defeat Spitzer one up. Over on the par 4 fifth, Abe Holmes taking on Drew Dimel. Holmes. Rolls this birdie chance, comes up just a hair short. He would advance, though, by beating Dimel in 20 holes. Staying on the fifth, John Marriott taking on Matt Bardo. Marriott dropping in the birdie three as he would advance to the semifinals with a two and one victory. So here are the results from the quarterfinal matches. What a round of golf it was. Both Weir and Holmes advancing after playing extra holes. Ferry defeated Spitzer one up and Marriott beats Bardo two and one. So here is the schedule for Saturday's semifinals. It'll be Weir versus Ferry at 11.50, followed by Holmes and Marriott at noon. The final match will be on Sunday at Lawrence Park Golf Club.